So cabinet doors are closed. We take a test run turn on the saw without the wood touching the blade. Make sure your wood's never touching the blade before you start. So when you do start it, make sure the blade's clear of any material. Have a push stick on hand, 30 centimeters in length. Okay, push stick for helping to push or guide material past the blade. Turn on the saw to check it. Turn it off with the power switch. Make sure that it's working. because now we're gonna need a straight cut along the edge of our wood. There's a straight cut we can cut along this edge. For doing any straight cuts, we can attach a fence to the table saw. The fence can be attached and it just basically gives us a guide so that get the fence so that our wood can ride along that edge. Wait for a bandsaw to come to a complete stop, then we can clear away any wood. You should never reach around or underneath a bandsaw and always use your push stick or a broom to clean. Okay, so when you're done, we want to make sure maintenance, put down our blade, and I'll be able to take this piece of wood, and now I'm just going to take it over to the disc and belt sander, and I'll be able to use a disc sander to round that outside curves. Any inside curves I'll use on a drum sander. And then any straight edges, I'll just sand down on the, on the belt. On the belt sander, I'll sand down any flats and make sure it sands up just to my line. End grain is very difficult to sand, so if there's more than uh, an eighth of an inch to take off, you were not gonna use a sander. You'd wanna use a hand plane or a file or a rasp, bring that down, and then we'd be able to use the sander. That end grain is very, very dense. It's gonna end up plugging up our belts and it'll just wear off our equipment too. Uh, too easily. So use something like a hand file or a rasp and just knock that edge down some before you take it over to the sander.